Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville YouTube channel. It's a crazy day sale. We're going to have a cart full of deals. Free stuff, not free stuff. I do have the ad scans uh, up on my website and I did a video on them. So I'll put a link down below. But let's get inside, take care of some of these deals. Is anyone volunteering to wash my truck? First free item I got for you guys. Four pack of clear or frosted nightlight bulbs. $1.97, it's a limit of 10. Keep in mind, you can't get the blues, you can't get the pinks. It's gotta be clear or frosted. What do you think is better? What's the difference on a nightlight bulb? Why would you care if it's clear or frosted? Isn't it usually obscured by some kind of a shade anyways? Mmm. I'm flustered already. I don't, I don't know which one I'd want. Five of each? Let's do five of each. Gotta be careful with light bulbs. Next, we got some toilet brushes with holder. Amazing. Limit four. We got green, we got blue, we're gonna get two of each. Can never have enough toilet brushes for your dirty ass. Although I think if you're using them on your ass, you're not using it right. Spick and span cleaner. Sounds racist. Limit two. A spin broom. It's limit two. Not free, it's still two ninety nine. We'll give it a shot. Another free item. Smart swab ear wax remover. Another bulb head thing. They complain when third party sellers put them on Amazon. They have uh Give me a slap on the wrist for it, saying I am not authorized to sell their items. They can go screw themselves because they're giving away them for free in stores because nobody else wants the damn things. Okay. It's a limit of six. I see two here and then there's more hiding back there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Holy crap, perfect. Those other two back. Deck wash is free. It's a limit of four gallons. I can't sell it and I don't use it, so we'll leave it there. We got accent mats. 20 by 31, a limit of six. They look dirty. Is that supposed to be on every one of them? Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter. There's two. Okay, four more. Two and four make six. Public school math serving me well. Got some free crack filler. Let's see. Limit of six. It's back here with paint. I need to find it. So they got a bunch of deals on different paints. I want to get some interior paint. I'm thinking about it. It sounds good before you actually have to do the work, but I despise painting, so maybe it'll never actually happen. But I'd like to paint the inside of my garage so it's not just the plain OSB. I figure if I paint it white, it'll maybe brighten up the place a little bit. Anyways, I'm thinking five gallons of this interior paint. It's not going to paint my whole garage, but if I can get one wall done, at least I can 
break it into chunks, do a little bit at a time. Anyways, it's $21.98, then a $12 rebate, so it's $9.98. We got brush and clean five pack toothbrushes free limit four make sure you're getting the right one someone put some other kind in there this was a limit of four holy jesus oh those boxes are just shit come on i wouldn't put these in my mouth but they're good for cleaning stuff Ninety-six piece clear bumpers. Limit two. Use those little torches for dollar ninety-nine. The other ones they had that were free were little tiny guys. These are about three times the size. Screw top storage jars, 89 cents, limit 12. Looks like you can get like a bare metal look, black or white. Let's see, that is 12 right there. Let's just just do one of these, make it easy on ourselves. Work smarter, not harder. Pack the part too well though. Looks like a shit show. All right, got some matches. It's limit two, two packs. They were um, down that way. It's about like space heaters and stuff. Kind of by uh, sinks and stuff. Weird place. It was like firewood, different fire related things. Vanity Fair napkins. They're not labeled here, but those are written. It's aluminum 10. You can see we're in with uh, paper towels and stuff at the front of the store. I'll open one box is 10, make it nice and easy for me. A full box is 16, but that's what 10 looks like. And for those keeping track at home, everything here was free so far, except the paint. It's $50 in paint. It's not free, but it looks pretty cool and bright as hell. A little 1500 lumen camping lantern, $5.99 after rebate. Mine were right up front there when you walk in the door where there was no sign, so. It's got a bunch of different modes and um... oh damn it uses four D batteries. I might change my mind on it. I don't want to dick around with D batteries. Son of a bitch. No, we gotta put it back. D batteries are not my friend. Aladdin 20 ounce to go water bottles. Moment four, it must be popular. Four pack auto vent stick air fresheners, limit of six. Too bad for the poor bastard that comes after me. <laughs> Anyone else who does this, do you ever feel like it's a scavenger hunt? I feel like it's a scavenger hunt. $3.99 for some bug stop spectricide. I'm fairly certain I already have at least one or two of these in my basement right now, but you can never have enough bug killing chemicals. Never. Oh, what the fuck? You gotta be shitty. Some bullshit. I need to pick up a thing of bar oil, and it used to be on the end caps over yonder. Um, I think I might have some at the house, but if I'm wrong, I just bought that new chainsaw. If it gets delivered to the house and I don't have bar oil for it, I'm gonna be so pissed. New toy and can't even use it yet. Uh oh, all the tough built stuff made it over here. 
So I know I'm going to forget. I'm going to walk out of here. I'm going to get home and be like, damn it, I didn't get the bar oil. And that was kind of a, a shit show thing too because I told you guys about that deal in the uh, video yesterday. And then uh, I saw people talking about how they got both the charger and the battery for free. And I thought, well, what the shit? I didn't. So I looked at the little banner for the sale ad on it and it says you get the charger and the battery. And then my thing only said the battery. So I emailed them and said, hey, the deal is you're supposed to get both. Am I going to get both when it gets shipped? And there were kind of some snarky little shits about it because they responded with a PDF attachment of the invoice and something like, it doesn't look like you get a charger. I'm like, oh, you little sons of bitches. Okay. Now we have a limit of two on these silicone dog leashes that are free. The shorties are like three feet. What's up with that? We'll do one blue and one. Is that supposed to be red or pink? It's kind of pinkish. Anyways, those will get donated. Got a 40 pound bag of signature blend bird food. Gotta take care of my birds, man. I'm only getting one though. That's a big ass bag. I didn't realize it was 40 pounds. Probably don't want to put it on top of the light bulbs. Nah, I'd probably be okay. It's something I'm just not gonna get, but you get a four pack of pint glasses. Free after rebates, limit of only one. Alpine Horse, Blonde Lager, Dusty Creek Pilsner, and something I can't read. Oh, here we go. Bad Neighbor. Oh, I like that one. Breakable. I don't like breakable. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Another popular one. They are two packs of LED Sylvania floodlights, 979, free after rebate, limit 10. A few left, but we don't care because I got mine. I got mine. You know what to say about Crazy Day sale? Come early or don't come at all. Got the 10 pack of sponges right there. It's a limit of four. Now we gotta go find the cart. That's what I call a full cart. Look at all them gaps at the bottom though. Could have done better there. I also picked up these retrofit LED uh, conversions for recess lighting. They're only $2.99 a piece, so I only got four of them because I don't know what size I need. I literally never use the recess lights I have. So I got the four inches, and then I got one that's five slash six inch. That was $25, bucks, but it's a six pack, so. I don't know, depending on which one fits, I don't know if I'll return the other or just keep them because like these at $2.99 a piece, I mean, who cares? But if these end up working, that's $25. I don't have a use for it, I'll probably just return it. Okay, I gotta look at my list. I'm trying to mark things off as we go. I just picked those up. I know we haven't done any of the garden type stuff yet. Okay, so we have a quart of bar and chain oil for $2 or a gallon is $6.50. Is there four quarts to a gallon? That makes sense why it would be called a quart, right? So that would be two, four, six, eight. So it's a little bit cheaper to get the, the gallon. Oh god. Is that twelve dollars? Oh that's gear loot or something. Okay, I was like, geez. What are they putting in that? What else we got over here? Small engine tune-up? What the shit is that? snake oil but for uh, four dollars I don't want that okay I think I'm gonna go with the gallon just makes me feel like I'm gonna do a lot of chainsawing if I buy the gallon it's like he committed to it Ridiculous card. Most of it's free too. Uh, yeah, I'd say most. Oh come on, you son of a bitch, get in there. Okay, hopefully that stays. Fifty pack of clothes pins. See a limit of six. They're nice and colorful and plastic so they'll be brittle and they'll probably break. So one. 
two, three, halfway there. I had actually considered for a minute doing this video as a live stream and just live streaming my shopping at Menards. But think, I've been here for like two hours or more. One, I'd use up all my data. But who the shit would sit here with me this long and watch me buy colorful clothespins? Seems odd. It was under consideration though, so who knows? Maybe in the future. Okay guys, just a couple more things. All right, we got the pot socks. There's no limit on them. You can get them all. God, I just don't want them. I know I could turn it in for 11% price adjustment and probably end up making money on all of them, but I really just don't want to deal with it and I got so much stuff already. All right, I talked myself out of it. I'm not getting it. We do have one more thing I'm trying to find though. We got some garden center stuff. So we're out in the garden center. Our wheelbarrows, if that helps. These dock cleats are a limit of 10. They're down at 99 each. There's no rebate slip here, but they are free after rebate. So that's it, guys. Now I gotta get through the checkout and repack this crap. Can you imagine a store where they make you bag your own shit and you'd have to bag all of this while they're scanning it? Nightmare. Menards is stupid. Customer service is pathetic. Worst retail store ever. Bag your own shit. All tons of it. And then, after you pay, we're going to start checking out the next person before you even get done bagging. We're not going to help you bag. Nothing. Your shit, the next person's shit, it's all going to collide into each other. You figure out whose is whose, because we don't give a damn about you. We already have your money. You can kiss ass. Okay, that's it. I want to go figure this out. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you give the video a like. Subscribe for another subscriber. And I'll see you guys next time. Look at that. Ain't she beautiful? Thumbnail. Boom. got a cart full of stuff, got through the checkout, and every once in a while you just got to be that guy. So I thought I'd show you guys what I got left. We got an 824, an 801, a 921, and there's 106.99 left on the rebate I used for this stuff. Almost all of it was free. This was ridiculous. I don't get how Menards makes any money at all, especially with someone like me. So I ended up paying $50. Of course, it all came out of the rebates here, but $50 for the paint. Uh, it was $8.99 for the bird seed. 25 for one of those recess light retrofit things and then 12 for the other ones and I think everything else was free so a lot of the stuff go to the garage sale some stuff I guess I can keep and then uh, the dog stuff which was just the two leashes will get donated oh and I got the bar oil what was that 10 bucks and then four dollars for that so there was a few things I guess I actually paid for but it all came out of rebate money so all right now it's actually over Well, you're just going to have to call me a liar because I'm the gift that keeps on giving. Decided to stop by a thrift store since I was in town. We've got the gates of Jer Jerusalem. It was $2.50, but um, it's selling for like 12 or 13 I'll put a screenshot up. On Amazon. And uh, really the only reason I came here is I have to have 10 transactions on my Kasasa checking account in order to get the 2.5% interest rate. We're getting to the end of the month and I'm well short. So I'm trying to build up a few transactions so I can get my interest. Otherwise I only get a few pennies of interest. Anyway, so I bought that. And this is the actual good one, a little Blu-ray. It was $3.50. Looks like it's selling for about 80 on Amazon. So that'll be a good deal for me there. Little pro tip as far as I'm concerned, if you're scanning DVDs at a thrift store, I only mess with new. Because used, you have more competition with other sellers. 
and it can be scratched up and then you're sitting there looking at it okay is it so scratched up that it won't play am i actually going to sit here and put the movie in a dvd player to see if it works i mean it just becomes a big hassle where new is new i don't gotta worry about it it works it's going to sell more than used and that way i'm not scanning every single damn dvd on the shelf i'm just looking for ones that are in plastic scan it see if it's worth anything and get out of there that's my tip for the day